Hello, my traveling friends. It's Beth, the Tinker Mom, back with some more tips about how you can integrate education into traveling with your children. Today, I wanted to talk to you about our family trip to New Orleans. First of all, if you see me looking down, I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, all of my notes are available on my Pinterest page, which is Tinker Mom FT. Tinker Mom FT, and I'll put a link to that Pinterest page in the comments right uh, with this video. So, New Orleans, it is, believe it or not, an incredible place to visit with children. I have always wanted to go there, and I was really excited to plan this trip. The first thing that I looked at when started to plan was where to stay. I looked at a lot of reviews online and decided that I really, on my first trip, wanted to stay right in the French Quarter, right next to the Mississippi River and right in the center of the old part of the city. So the hotel that I chose is called the French Market Inn. The one thing that I do recommend with the French Market Inn is it is on a main road. So when you are reserving your room, be sure to request one that's in the back off of the courtyard. Originally, we were in a room right on the street. It was gorgeous, but it was a little loud. So we moved to a room off the courtyard near the back of the hotel, and it was so much better. It's a gorgeous hotel in these old buildings, um, and I would recommend it, especially if you want to be right in the French Quarter. So the first thing once I booked the hotel is I started to research how to get from the airport to the hotel. We elected to take a cab. I did some research online about the car seat requirements for children. My children at the time were five and seven. Something that I always do when we travel to another state, because every state's different with their car seat laws, and because we took a van cab from the airport to our hotel, it was like a shuttle cab, we didn't have to have booster seats. So that was something I recommend looking into and make sure that if you don't have to take a car seat, it's just one last thing that you have to carry. I like to pack light, so whenever I cannot take something, I always choose not to take it. Again, my kids were five and seven, so it worked out great for us. We did also some research ahead of time. I talked with my school librarian about some books that would be great for children my age to sort of give them some background about New Orleans and the history. We read two of them. The first one was one of the Magic Treehouse books called A Good Night for Ghosts by Mary Pope Osborne. And it as if you're familiar with the Magic Treehouse books with Jack and Annie, this one, they went back to New Orleans and met up with a young Louis Armstrong. And it, they go on adventures all around, especially the French Quarter of New Orleans. Great book. Lots of uh, history and actual places that are in New Orleans were mentioned in there to give my kids some background. The second one that we read was called Jazz Cats, and that one is by David Davis. Just wanted to make sure I get that name right. That was a great book about jazz music. We also listened to a lot of jazz music. We listened to Louis Armstrong classics and also the soundtrack to The Princess and the Frog. We also watched the Disney movie The Princess and the Frog. Great movie, by the way. So places that we visited first place that we went to on the very first day was the aquarium. The aquarium in New Orleans, ooh, little fly, um, is amazing place. It's huge, it's new, and I was amazed it was not completely crowded with people. We had such a great time. We ended up spending the entire day there. A great tip is if you plan on visiting the zoo as well, you can purchase a combo ticket, which will save you some money if you buy that combo ticket. And that brings me to the second place that we visited, which was the zoo. Again, amazing. We took the cable car, uh, the streetcar, um, to the zoo. Um, it goes right along through the Garden District, so you get to check out the Garden District of New Orleans, which is gorgeous. And there's a free shuttle from the stop that's near the zoo that goes right into the zoo. 
you can also walk if you want to do the couple of block walk but we took the shuttle and it was perfect took us right there and again we had the combo ticket so that saved us some money the next day after the zoo, we went to City Park, which again, we took this uh, streetcar up to City Park from the French Quarter. Streetcars are so cool, and I have to say, my kids, that was an adventure unto itself, just taking the streetcars. We went to City Park, walked around. It's huge. It's an amazing park to walk around, gorgeous. Um, there's an art museum there, and there's also a free sculpture park that you can just walk around. Uh, there's a great playground, so if your kids need to get run it off and get some time with some other children, uh, it was a great place to kind of talk with other parents, get some tips, uh, local people who know the city, and the kids got to play with some other kids uh, who are local New Orleans kids, so it was fantastic. We were there over a special time when they're having an event called Celebration in the Oaks. And I had done, again with my research, found out about this and looked into it. I, If you were there while it's going on, I recommend it. I also recommend that you buy your tickets online ahead of time. We lined up maybe 45 minutes before they were opening and uh, the um, line to buy the tickets was huge. Uh, so because I had gotten the tickets ahead of time, we were able to get directly into the line for the go in, to go into the event. I also bought the tickets for the train ahead of time, which was a huge time saver, and the train was so fun. Definitely recommend it. So that, that was a full day um, event and celebration in the Oaks. Awesome. It was all local folks there. Uh, totally fun time. So other day we just walked around the French Quarter we went to we went to Cafe du Monde pretty much every morning for beignets hot chocolate and coffee uh, it lives up to the reputation so good um, we walked around st. Louis Square uh, gorgeous the one place that we did avoid was Bourbon Street if you have young children it's not a place for them it's pretty much a spot for tourists and pickpockets so I don't recommend it for young children so the next time as my kids get older, that uh, the places that I'd like to see as they get older that really weren't for them this trip were the World War II Museum and also the Whitney Plantation, which if you have a middle age, middle school age child or a high school age child who's studying the history of slavery in the United States, very much recommend uh, those sites as well. So thank you so much for listening. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, one of the things about being outside uh, but I hope that you have a great day and thanks so much for watching and safe travels and have a great day